So let's continue on with these um, lights. Uh, we should name this, let's call it uh, yeah, GeoLight. Let's drop an environment light as well. Just click on that. Let's go back to the first frame just in case we get a problem there. And then I go and find the that file and go into my hip. And then here in HDRI, I've got this nice kind of sunset. Drop that in. Um, maybe the brightness we could improve it, uh, raise it a bit. 1.5. Then also, I'm just going to copy this root and go into my camera. And then here in background images, just drop that same root. Okay, I'll just go there. And then this will, um, we'll actually see that in the render then. So when the back comes off, you'll see the HDRI <clears throat> from the camera through the back. Okay, so that's fine with that name. So what I also want to do is have some lights on the side from the windows. And then, so what I'm going to do, have to do is delete some of these um, Kind of window panes to allow the lights to pass through okay so if we press spacebar and four we'll go to the right hand view go into our selection mode let's jump into the plane render and just select this node for out for the moment and then what's a bit annoying is that there's two um pieces separate pieces of geometry on each one so we'll have to delete two things and you can just do this which will select things behind but then we'll be selecting the chairs and other bits and bobs inside. So we'll just, um, if you just single click first of all, to make your first selection, okay? And what I'll do, I'm just going to delete uh, some of these. Let me just go into full screen. And again, yeah, press nine to go into 3D selection mode. Press nine and then um, to select by group and then 3D selection. And then um, select a few of these. So I'm gonna grab this one, hold shift, this one, this one, this one. So just like, you know, the windows which are which are open basically. So we'll add a bit of kind of randomness almost, right? And then just delete them. And then I can see the ones that I've just selected and I'm just gonna go and grab the, the rest of them. That one, that one, this one, uh, and then these two. Delete those as well, and then we go. So those windows are open. And then I press spacebar and four to jump over to the other side, and then I'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to grab uh, this one, uh, hold shift again, this one, this one, this one, and this one, one next to it. I'm doing these the same as as our render, right? So yours can be you know the same. You can choose whichever you like, delete them, and then select the same ones again, hold shift. So if you want a brighter scene, delete more windows, vice versa, delete them. There we go. So we got some, some um, availability for lights to pass through. Okay, so let's go back into, well, let me just jump in here and drop this null underneath. Okay, let me just check this render's not updating yet. Keep getting these warnings and I'm worried I'm going to crash. Okay, so that's what we're going to render. Uh, let's jump back out here and grab a couple of um, some some grid lights, yeah, or what are they called? Area lights in Mantra. So, oh no, grid lights, they are called grid lights, of course. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna drop in. So the idea, yeah, I'm just gonna have two kind of bars, one on each side with different colors. So I'll just drop in the um, transforms for that. Okay, so this one, Minus seven point seven five point five zero point two and then rotate it by ninety and then for the size um, area lights size will be twenty five by three. Okay, so we get that shining in lights from the side. Um, 
I'm gonna enable this edge fall off so it's a bit blurry along the edge, right? Push this up to 0.3. Okay, and then the intensity, push it up to 500. And then the color, do kind of a reddish color, 0.3 by 0.21 by 0.18, something like that. Okay, and then let me just call that, um, where are we? So you could see the, the background there. Um, call that right. And then just copy that over for left. Okay, and then I'm gonna drop transforms in for this. So 9.2, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 0.2, okay, and then for this one, we want it to be a bit brighter, well, a lot brighter, 1000, so that's like the side where the sun is, and then kind of more of a bluey <coughs> color, 0.5, sorry, 0 0.54, 0 0.73, 1.0. Okay, so we get this nice blue. Um, let's see, the size can be the same and the fall off can be the same as well. Great, so I think that should be it for our light and everything. Um, before I forget, make sure we check this for the um, crowd render. So we're subdividing that. Okay, maybe we can have a, just a quick look at our render from there. So again, if we maybe move, we can see there's lights coming in from the sides. Let me uh, just stop that and move to a frame where <clears throat> we've got lights from the interior as well. I think it was like frame three or something. Uh, yeah, so hit render on that. There we go. So we've got uh, just one frame rendered there. Obviously, it's very noisy. You just need to, you know, raise the samples, uh, maybe add some motion blur, depth of field and so forth and do um, do some work in in in. Uh, in comp and then yeah it should it should look pretty cool so um, you know we've got this kind of dramatic lighting bit of lights coming in through the side and with the agents flying around and these flickering and the camera and everything moving you know it'll come out pretty dramatic and, and really nice also um, I haven't I didn't talk about it here but um, you might want to cash out the uh, simulation as well let me stop that you know just after the after the simulation here you can uh, run a cache on that as well. Okay.